I'm Darcy. Today I'm going to show you how to make the Zaffity Twist. I created this bracelet myself. It's a bit difficult and it's a bit tricky and the type of level it is is intermediate. The intermediate means it's the highest level of all bracelets. So, these are the supplies you would need. You would need 34 white rubber bands, 22 yellow rubber bands, and 22 green rubber bands. You also need a C clip if you have one, or an S clip if you have one. You also need your hook and your board. Of course, yay! Now, let's get started. So, for those who have a red arrow, you need a red arrow pointing away from you, but I don't have a red arrow. So, you're going to start by placing 13 white rubber bands on the outside of your loom. I'm going to stop to the fourth to the last pin, but my um, board is longer than the rainbow loom because mine's the fun loom, but you guys are going to stop to the second to the last pin. So, you're going to place one from the center pin to the left, then you're going to start by placing one forward, so it's like that. Then you're going to do this one over the other up the loom till you get to the fourth to the last pin. But for you guys, if you have a rainbow loom, second to the last pin. So I'm going to keep on going. So I'll see you guys in, in a few tips. So I finished placing 13 rubber bands up the loom to the fourth to the last pin. Then you place one diagonally to the second to the middle pin. Then you're going to go back down to the loom. And you're going to repeat that to the other side. So you're going to put one here, like that, so it looks like this. Then you're going to place one forward, and you're going to continue placing them again, one over the other, till you get to the end here. And then place one diagonally to the center pin. See you guys. Okay, so I've finished placing my perimeter of the bracelet, which is the outside here. And now, I'm going to show you what to do next to make the middle part of the bracelet. So, first, you're going to grab your yellow rubber band, you're going to stretch it from this pin on the left to the middle pin. Then you're going to stretch it from the right to the center pin. Then you're going to grab your green and you're going to stretch it to the left side of the loom and you're going to stretch this one to the right side of the loom. Then you're going to repeat that. I'm going to show you one more time. Stretch this one from the left side of the loom to the center pin. Then you stretch this one from the right side of the loom to the center pin. Then you're going to grab from the center pin to the left side of the loom like that. Then you do it so the center pin to the right side of the loom. So it looks like this. Okay, so I'm going to see you guys in a few tips and I'll show you what to do next. So I've almost finished placing all my bands. That's for the middle here. And again, this one from here to the left side of the loom to the center pin. Then the right side of the loom to the center pin. Then to the center pin, to the left side of the loom, then the center pin, to the right side of the loom. Okay, now you're going to place a cap band on that last band. You're going to get a yellow rubber band, I mean a white rubber band that was for the outside. Put two fingers on each side of the rubber band, twist it to a figure eight, then you're going to turn it back upon itself, and you're going to place it on that last band. Make sure it's not overlapping all the other rubber bands underneath there. Okay, now that we're finished looping, I mean placing all the bands, we're ready to loop the bracelet. Turn your loom around. So those people who have read out, the arrows point toward you. You're going to grab your hook, and you're going to pull back the cap band, and you're going to grab this top white one and stretch it to the left side of the loom on that pin. Then you're going to pull back the cap band again. And you're going to repeat that to the other side. Now you're going to hook 
the middle part of the bracelet. So you're going to pull back the bands. And you're going to grab that green one or a different color if you use a different color. And then you're going to pull back and repeat that to the other side. Then you're going to loop these two yellow ones. Pull those green ones back. There's four red bands to pull back. And you grab that yellow one and loop it to the left. Then you're going to do it to the right. So it looks like this. And now I'm going to repeat this process again. Pull back these yellow ones and grab that green one and loop it to the center pin. Then you're going to loop the other green rubber band, or a different color, and loop it to the center pin. And then I'm going to show you this one more time. There. Then you're going to do it to here. Then in there. Then here. And then here to here. So I'm going to see you guys in a few minutes. So bye. Okay, so I've finished looping, and this is a little tip. So you know that you looped the right band because it made a little teardrop when you looped them. Okay, now that we're finished looping the bands, I'm going to show you what to do next. So you're going to loop, now you're going to loop the outside, which is the perimeter of your bracelet. And now I'm going to show you, I'm going to pull back all these bands, there's two to pull back and you grab that white one and pull it to there. Before you do any more, just give it a little push down. You don't have to push down the middle ones because you're not looping any to the middle. So just do the outside of it. It's not going to take long. Okay. Now you're going to pull back these yellow ones and grab that white one and loop it to there. And then you're going to do that again. And you're going to do that one over the other, up the loop, till you get to the end. And then I'm going to show you what to do next. So I'll see you guys. Okay, so I've fin almost finished looping the left side of the loop. But after you finish looping the first row, you're going to loop a diagonally loop. So you're going to put back all these. Loop this to the center pin. And remember, I know I've already said this, but you know that you loop the right band because it made the teardrop. And make sure you don't grab two rubber bands at a time. So make sure you don't grab a yellow and this white again. So just don't do that. Then you're going to head down, back down to the limb. And then you're going to pull back those bands again. And you're going to repeat this to the um, other side. The right side of the limb. So see you guys in a minute. And then remember to loop this one diagonally. Don't forget, and you should never forget to loop the outside, because then when you take it off, it will just all fall apart. Okay, now that we're finished looping all the bands, we're ready to finish the bracelet. So, you're going to, you're going to make sure that all these bands on that last pin is up, and then, you're going to stick your hook down through the middle of that pin so that all the bands are basically pushed back down like you're looping. But you're not looping, so you're going to stick it out to the side like that and make sure all those bands are on that, your, on your hook. So now I'm going to grab another right band and you're going to hook it on there, pull it through, look at the other side on your stick. And then you're going to pull that to the thickest part, like this. Now, you're ready to pull off your bracelet. Good. 
give it a little stretch. This is what it looks like. And we've not finished the bracelet yet, because we have to extend it like this to make the wrist fit comfortably. So, put this to the side, turn the loom back around, and you're going to put one rib band right there, and you're going to put in a single chain, one over the other, and I'm going to place six, because that's the size of my hand. So, there's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. And then you're going to grab the other end, which is the um, cap band. And then you're going to put it on that one, that last pin where you place that last band. And you're going to pull it to the pin behind it. So it looks like this. Then you're going to turn your loom around, or you can put it to the side like that if you want to. And I'm going to turn it all around. And you're going to loop your extension in a single chain, one over the other, so you get to the end of your loom. After you placed, I mean, looped all of them, you're going to pull this, make sure there's two, there's two over there, you're going to pull that to the pin in the center pin next to it. Then you're going to grab your C clip or S clip, I'm using an S clip, it looks like this, it looks like an S. And then you get one of the sides of your S clip, and you're going to put it on there. Make sure it's there securely. And then you're going to pull your extension off. Sorry about the noise. And you're going to put your boards to the side. And now you're going to pull that and put two fingers in. Pull your hook out, then you're going to grab the other side of your S clip, pull your fingers apart like that, and then put it there, make sure it's there securely, and then you're going to pull your fingers out, stretch it, and then stretch it, and there you have your bracelet. So I hope you liked that tutorial. This is my other one. They look the same. Yay! So now we're finished doing the bracelet, so bye. Please subscribe. Thank you for watching.